recognition. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, Friday morning, President Obama boastfully declared to the world that ISIS was contained. Hours later, Paris was burning. ISIS fighters unleashed coordinated attacks all over the City of Lights, murdering 130 people and injuring hundreds of others. This just weeks after ISIS blew up an airplane, killing over 200 people. The President is wrong. ISIS is not contained. ISIS's homicidal aggression has spread from the Middle East to the sleeping West. This morning, the radical killers released a video threatening attack on Washington, D.C. Shall we dither until this capital is bombed? I think not. This is our fight, but it's not our fight alone. France should immediately invoke Article 5 of the NATO agreement. This says an attack on one NATO nation is an attack on all NATO nations. This paves the way for a truly joint and international response to ISIS. The U.S. invoked this provision after the 9-11 attack. All 28 NATO nations need to join the war against our common enemy because containment is not a strategy, and that's just the way it is. I yield back.